All right, welcome. In this video, I'm gonna be working this worksheet that's going over some problems that are getting at the idea of the definite integral is the limit of a Riemann sum. And just right off the bat, I wanna give credit where credit is due. I did not make up this worksheet. I got this wor worksheet from Dixie Ross, expert calculus teacher, much better calculus teacher than me. And this is a good worksheet, right? These can be really intimidating looking problems. But I think if you go through this and you understand the, the nature of the matching on the front and the fill in the blank on the back, then it'll really give you some confidence in your ability to solve this type of problem. Okay, so first I want to just, you know, maybe you just watched my video about, you know, writing it as the limit of a Riemann sum. But remember that if I've got, I might zoom in for a second and get a scrap of paper. Yeah, there we go. If I've got the integral from A to B, of f of x dx, I need to translate that into, or the other way, I guess, the limit of a Riemann sum. Okay, so the Riemann sum is going to be i is going to run from 0 or potentially 1, depending on whether it's the limit of a left Riemann sum or a right Riemann sum, up to n. Okay, n is the number of rectangles. We want the number of rectangles to go to infinity. Okay, inside the sum, each sum and is the area of a rectangle. Right? So it's going to be f of x sub i multiplied by delta x sub i. Okay? But for AP calculus and for convenience, we assume that this is always the same. We equally subdivide the interval. I'm going to just get an eraser real quick. And write in that is b minus a divided by n. B minus A divided by N, right? It's the width of the whole interval divided up into the number of rectangles, equally subdivided. Okay, and also it might be useful to know that, all right, down here, XI is in general going to start at A and then add that B minus A divided by N multiplied by I, where I is the index and not the square root of negative one. All right, so let's get after it. So we're looking at this, I'm going to zoom back out. And all right, 4x squared plus 2 from 1 to 3. OK, so I'm looking for something with a width of 2. So I'm looking for 2 over n on the right side and a 4x squared plus 2. Okay, This is a 4x squared plus 2, but it's not times 2 over n. So that, whatever that one is, that has a width of 3. So it's going to look pretty much like that. I feel like it could be this one. OK, so yep, 4x squared plus 2, width of 2, that's 1 to 3. And it starts at 1. This is d. Number two, the integral from 2 to 5 of x to the 3 plus 1. So I'm looking for x to the 3 plus 1, starting at 2 with a width of 3. That's, that's this one right here, x to the 3 plus 1, width of 3, starting x value of 2. So that's going to be c. Number three, integral from 7 to 5. I should be able to notice this pretty easily because I'm seeing a difference in negative 2. So I'm just going to scan until, OK, that looks like definitely a candidate. That has also got a negative 2 on it, and uh, well, those are the only ones. So, you know, between these two, I know it's going to be e because it's 3x plus 1. That thing you see in parentheses here, that's, that's x, right? This is a 4x squared plus 2 with an interval width of negative 2. So I know that this one's going to represent 3, so that'll be e right here. Okay, number 4, 4x squared plus 2 from 2 to 4. So 4x squared plus 2 with a width of 2. Not seeing it yet. That's 4x minus 2. That's close. 4x squared plus 2, width of 2, starting at 2. So that's that's what I'm looking for. This one, you can't see it. But 4 is j. Yeah. Okay. Number 5, 4x minus 2. And maybe I should have I'm gonna start crossing these off, the ones that I've already used. The integral from 5 back to 2, well, that's a width of negative 3 with a 4x minus 2. That shouldn't be too hard to find. Here it is right here. Width of negative 3, 4x minus 2, starting at 5, going back to 2. OK, that's going to be a. Okay. Number 6 is 4x squared plus 2 forwards with a width. OK, it must be back above. 4x squared plus 2 with a width of 3, starting at 2, going up to 5. Yeah, that's b. There it is. 4x minus 2. A. Oh, wait, whoops, I've already used A and B. So now I'm just looking at these four right here. So I'll just limit my view to those. Five to seven, something needs to start at five and go up to. There's going to be it. And that does not match 
Okay, that is not what I was looking for. Here it is. Going from 5 to 7. I have made a mistake here somewhere, I think. 3x plus 1 from... Why is the other 3x plus 1? From 2 to 5. Okay, that's this one. Okay. Where is 5 to 7 of 4x minus 2? Ah, here it is, h. Yeah, there it is. Okay, starts at 5, has a width of 2, 4x minus 2. So 7 is h. Okay. And I did that. Okay, integral from 3 to 1. Well, that's got a width of negative 2, so I know it's going to be f, but might as well verify. Okay, it starts at 3, and it's 4x squared plus 2. Okay. Number 9 is x to the 3 plus 1. We know that's going to be i, but let's just make sure, okay, the integral starts at 5. I see that right there. The width of the interval over which I'm integrating is 2. 5 to 7, it's got a width of 2, and it's x to the 3 plus 1. Okay, I'm feeling confident. Okay, so yeah, there we go. And I feel good about these. Okay, so there's all of them all at once for you to look at. And if you need to pause, you can do that. Um, but that was that was pretty good, right? Now on the back, I might only do the first few of these and then have you do the rest of them for your own practice. Because once you've seen a couple of these, I think you're going to be good. Okay, so it starts with the limit as n goes to infinity of the Riemann sum. I runs from one up to n. Okay, the height is 4 times x squared plus 2. Width is 3 minus 1 divided by n. Okay, xi, x starts at 1, and then I add 2 over n times i. Okay, this one is going to be 4x squared plus 2 is the integrand. And the width of my interval is 3, and I start at 2, so that's going to be from 2 up to 5. Okay, This one, I'm ready to go. I'm going to say it's the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum as i runs from 1 up to n of, let's see, 3x, three, 3 times x. And maybe I'll start with x. x starts at 7 plus, okay, 5 minus 7 is negative 2i over n. 3x plus 1 delta x is 5 minus 7 divided by n. Oh, no, I didn't put my back bracket on that one. Okay. Number 4 is going to be 4x squared plus 2 is my integrand. Again, now it's going to have a width of 2, and it's going to start at 2, so that's going to be the integral from 2 up to 4. And maybe I'll just do, maybe I'll do another one. Another set of them. Maybe I'll do eight and nine. Okay. Let's see. I've got over here, okay, this is the limit of 3x plus 1 dx. Okay, so my integrand is 3x plus 1. And I'm integrating from 2 up to 2 plus 3. So that's going to be from 2 up to 5. Okay. And then this one, okay, integral from 5 to 7. I'm going to take the limit as maybe I'll use k as my, no, 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 pardon me. I am going to use k as my index. But this is still the limit as the number of rectangles n goes to infinity. Okay. Of the sum as k runs from 1 up to n, or it could be 0 up to n. Maybe I want to use a left ream on some. Uh, OK, x to the third. So x is starting at 5, and it's going to be plus some fraction to the third plus 1. And then the width of each rectangle is b minus a divided by n. Okay. Now this thing times i is what goes over here, so it's 2i over n. I think that's going to be a, a good enough selection of examples for definitely for you to finish out the rest of this worksheet. I'll zoom out so you can see the rest of the problems. I'll probably link the original document in the description of the video. But this is good practice, and, and hopefully you can you know build yourself up to be confident in that if you see this type of problem on your AP exam, probably on the multiple choice, that you'll know what to do and you'll be able to solve it. So thanks for watching.